quick little video here today. Just wanted to kind of share my reactions after this recent UFC event. And holy crap, did Izzy redeem himself. You know, we, uh, a lot of people, including myself, thought that Alex Pereira just had Israel Adesanya's number. I mean, he already beaten him three times, four, twice in kickboxing, once in MMA. And I thought it was going to be a replay of their previous fights. And, man, was I wrong. To be fair, though, uh, this fight, their second fight in MMA, fourth fight overall, it uh, seemed like it was going in Alex Pereira's way. He, uh, it appeared that he had hurt Izzy with some leg kicks early on. Izzy was kind of switching stances a lot because of it. And it seemed like in the second round, Alex Pereira was like en route to victory because <clears throat> he had Izzy pressed up against a cage, kind of teeing off. It seemed like we were going to get another finish in the second round, but Izzy stated that he was playing possum. He was willing to walk through fire to land that one shot, that one overhand shot that beat that famous left hook of Alex Pereira to finally sit him down, man. And after so much talk, man, after so many years, Izzy has finally redeemed himself. He has finally slayed his monster. And I'll honestly, man, I don't know what the UFC is going to do as far as matchmaking. Because I don't know if they'll want to do a rematch between Alex Pereira and Izzy. I doubt that they'll go that route. Izzy suggested that Pereira move up to light heavyweight, and honestly, I could kind of see that because Alex is so freaking big for that weight class. I'm sure, I'm sure the weight cuts aren't really fun for him. <clears throat> and honestly, if you're a matchmaker, you're trying to figure out like who's next for Israel Adesanya. Because looking at the top five of that division, he has beaten pretty much everyone there. Some of them he's beaten twice. Now, like, you look at the top five and, like, kind of who's on a winning streak. You want to say, like, Robert Whitaker, but it's a hard fight to sell because Robert Whitaker has already lost twice to Izzy, you know? And, like, do you want to just have it, like, a Max Holloway, like, Alexander Volkanovsky situation? Where, like, they're obviously the two best guys in the division. And you just have to pair them up because they each just keep beating other people in their division. Because really the only fresh meat, you know, that can make it into the mix is, uh, what's his name? Dracus Duplessis. He's coming off of a win off of Derek Brunson. I mean, other than that, man, I don't know who you pair up against Izzy. Anyway, just a quick little video today. Just wanted to share my thoughts. Let me know what you thought of today's UFC event. Um, hope you enjoyed this video.